Hi there folks and welcome back to Koi Pond Lifestyle. So, what have we got on today? Been doing a lot of watching other videos and we're kind of heading into the point now where I've said in previous clay videos that my fock, my fock clay, I'm going to start using that as we head into spring and then I'll be using it in through summer and so on. I've still got some of the packet left and it's, it's, it's done the job for me, it's pretty good. Now, there's been some, another product I've been keeping my eye on for a while and want to try this season. And I'm going to try it on here. Is, drum roll. Queen Master's Advantage. Now, first thing I'm going to be saying is, you got the wrong pack, and You got the wrong pack, and I've got the wrong pack. I thought I'd got the wrong pack. When I opened it, five kilogram, that's not the right sticker. Oh my God, I've got the wrong. I'm going to send it back. No, I, there's a number on the back. I rang the number on the back and just so happened to speak to the guy that makes this stuff. Wow, I actually got, got in touch with the, the, the guy called Chris Masters. He actually answered the, well, he didn't answer his phone. A, a lady answered the phone and then she said, oh, I'll speak to Chris. And I spoke to the actual guy that designs this stuff, who makes this stuff. So that was an interesting conversation. Spent around about 40 minutes or so after that as he was grilling before what kind of pond I've got and what my filter system's like and why am I going to use it and how am I going to use it and what's my literage and whatever. So I was sort of just a big, big sponge of all this information coming out from this guy who's got, he's done about 40 odd visits to Japan and meets the, you know, he knows all the breeders apparently and told me loads of stories, which is quite interesting. Um, so yeah, so uh, Coin Master's Advantage is what I'm going to give it a go. And he said, yes, this is the right stuff. I said, look, I've got this stuff. And it's got the wrong sticker on. He says, no, it's, it's what does the sticker look like? Tell me. He said, no, it's the right stuff. Then. He said, we just changed the sticker around. <sighs> Thank God for that. So I've got this Coin Master's Advantage. We're going to give it a whirl today. We're going to get some mixed up and give it a go. And like I say, I'm going to use it in, conjun in conjunction with the fog. Now with this stuff, I'm told, or he, this, the, the guy that designed it, tells me that he made it because he wasn't happy with the way the water companies in the UK were, what they were doing with the water, what they were adding stuff and they were taking stuff away, making it perfectly good for, for human beings to consume, but not very good for the koi. So he wasn't happy with that and wanted to make something that he could put into their water to put back some of the minerals and some of the good things that the fish need to thrive better, to grow better, makes the water clearer, takes, it's a flocculent, and I really hope I've got that name right, Flo flocculent. Anyway, it takes suspended materials, suspended particles out of the water, chucks them into your, your filter system, which is where you want them. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. We're gonna get some, some mixed up today. I'm sure you've seen loads of people, so I won't spend too much time faffing around with it. But um, anyway, let's get some in, and then we'll keep reporting back and see how it goes, because I like to try things, because every day, is a school day and today is one of those. So let's crack on, get it in, away we go. So let's just have a look at the water first. Done my water test this morning. Ammonia, which is good. Nitrite, which is excellent, because I'm not doing much feeding, so that's fine. But the most important one for me is my pH, and pH is still stable. So all this rain we've had, all the snow we've had, so far so good. It's keeping mine in the high range, but it's not moving, it's stable. So that's good. Let's get this stuff in. Okay, Koi Master's Advantage. Ah, oh, it doesn't come with a scoop. Gotta get my own scoop. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I managed to find a little... Oh, bless it. I didn't get a better one than that. So I'm gonna to have to go for, because my pond is 1,500 gallons. Two. I don't count these, I'm gonna do them next time myself, can't I? Three, four, five. Okay, let's call it six. So we're gonna have six scoops. Okay, we're gonna get it mixed up and uh, get it in. Fast forward. Uh. 
bored now. That'll do. Let's get it in, give it 10 minutes. <laughs> right then. Koi must have once you've been in for about 10 minutes. Everything's disappeared. It's just, it's almost like I'm doing a, a clover leaf thing. I'm trying to get the, the uh, blanket weed out. Fish have just disappeared completely. Right. Um, just have a quick look at the filter system. Now, I mean, moving bed is doing really well. That's the, the, the KK1000 is flying. In my next bay, in my Jack Matting bay, I've still got that extra bit of Jack Matting just lying on the top that I don't really want there because I'm going to put some filter floss over the top of the Jack Matting. As it comes out of the KK1000 through the conta media containment system, oh, I get you, into the Jack Matting, I, I want, that's where I want it to, as it goes over, I want to catch any fines with the filter floss. But this other Jack Matting's in the way, so if anybody can, anybody any ideas what I can do with it, ideally, I should have put it in with the KK1000, just hidden it in there somewhere. But I didn't, and I can't get it in now because I've tried. So I'll do that. So it's going to go over the top of this. Now this bit of Jack Matting will come out. Now this is a mature, a mature bit of Jack Matting, so I don't really want to bin it because it's got a lot of beneficial bacteria. Well, it will have. You know, I think at the, at the moment in this time of the season, there's not a lot of bacteria. It's all sort of either dormant or died or it's coming back. But anyway, I've, I've tried to keep the bubbles and the air blowing through it quite nicely. So my filter floss is going to go over the top of there. So when it comes up here, out the cross, down through there, it'll catch the filter floss there. And it might mean me reducing, having to uh, clean my, my sponge filters so much. The trickling system is working really well. Look at that. Fantastic. In fact, that's, that's a little bit high to be honest, but uh, it's no major worry. I'll probably turn that down in a minute, so it's literally just more like a run when I want to trickle. But anyway, yeah, that's working really well now. I've put my dechlorinator filters over there, trickle straight into here. This is adjustable, I can pick it up or I can pick it down. It's all good, that is really good. So that's working really well as well. So as we come out of winter into spring, there's a number of things I'm looking for and I've been told I need to keep an eye on. First one, of course, is your water testing. You've got to continue water testing because your water will start changing now. Also, this is, this is the, a quite a crucial part for fish coming out of winter. You know, they've not had a lot to eat throughout the winter. They're basically, they are very hungry and any bugs or things that they went into winter with will catch them off guard and they won't have a lot of energy to try to fight them off. So you've got to keep an eye on that as well, apparently. So I'm going to keep an eye on fish doing different things that they, you don't, they don't usually do. Filter systems. Now I give mine a good clean going into winter trying not to disturb too much beneficial bacteria. Um, so my filter system now just needs a bit of a, just a bit of a, like a, a spring clean, but not a heavy spring clean. You're not really supposed to touch these filters a lot in your bacteria bays. So all your media bays, you've got to try to, mini, you've got to go and clean obviously, but you've got to be very careful how you clean them because you don't want to be knocking off your beneficial, beneficial bacteria. So I think what I'll be doing with my jack matting is basically just throwing a bucket of water over the top of it, empty the bay out, throw a bucket of water over the top and let everything rush to the bottom and then I'll, I'll get the sludge out the bottom. My, my vortex and my sponge bays, I'll still be able to do those. And to be honest, what I'll probably do is give it sort of, let me start feeding, get the filters up and, up and running and back into normal running through summer. And I'm going to do a full clean video. So show you how I clean my filters, my Cockney Koi multi field filter. I'll make a video on that later on in spring, leading into summer. So you can all see how I do it. Make your own minds at what you don't want to do with yours. So, the first lot of my Koi Masters Advantage is in, as you can see. So we'll just see what the, how it progresses. I can work it in conjunction with Fock Koi. What? So I can just keep using that until it's all run out, then I can decide what I want to do with it. Okay, everybody, day two of applying the Koi Masters Advantage. So, what have I seen so far? I've seen a pond disappear, basically, in loads of, of the white murky stuff, which is expected, that's what it says in the tin. You know, up to 36 hours, I expect that to happen, and it should clear after that, so that's great. We'll have a look, have a look at the pond at the moment. In the filter system now this is an interesting one because the filter floss that i put in is doing a fantastic job i'm quite chuffed where i put that because 
all the stuff that has been pulled out of the pond is coming through the filters now and collecting on this filter floss. Now then, I'm going to pull the filter floss eye out in a minute and I'm going to see what's in it by giving it a bit of a clean. So I'm going to need any of you guys out there that have used it in the past to just comment below, is this right? Because at the moment, because it's, it's my filter floss is where it is, which is over the jack matting, so it's got to go through the vortex, through the, the brushes, through the KK1000, and then into the jack matting. And like I say, I've put the filter floss over the jack matting. So let's have a quick look at the filter floss from yesterday. We'll do a comparison. This is what it looked like when I put it in. Nice and clean, put the bits on it. And this is what it looks like now, let's have a look. So look at that, loads of stuff on it. Now this is obviously because of the flocculent, I think I googled it, it is flocculent. Because of the flocculents in the product, apparently it's gonna get all this stuff here. Up through the KK1000, through the hole, landed in there. So I am dead sure for this, so I'm gonna pull this out now and see what the filters have collected in the filter floss. So this is, this looks really good. If this is the case, but again, comment below if, if this is right. I, I believe it is. And then we'll, we'll, we'll give it a clean, see what happens. Right, so this is the stuff. Look at that. Right, so I've just given that a, quite a good clean as you can see. So it's now back to white, or oh, ish. That's interesting, so from what we had, and this is all the stuff that's now come out of the pond. So if this is good, this is good. I'm gonna give it another rinse just in case. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is second rinse. Same piece of filter glass in the bucket. So that's cleaned that up a lot better. I, won't, I don't think I'm gonna throw this away because it's quite good still. I think this will do another right around myself. So yeah, so that's what's uh, coming out. Now as you see what I'm doing is I'm just tucking it under this lip so that because the water blows flows this way anyway so I've tucked it under the lip so they can go now I haven't tucked that end because my water my air is still on and I need the air still on so as you can see an air bubble here now Bloop. so I, I need to keep the air on um, so I can still keep this going so which is not a problem because what happens is the, 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 the stuff comes up the front here through, through there and it's gathering here and then the cleaner water is going down the side there so that's good I'm quite chuffed with that. I'm going to keep the, water, the air on, and, the, and if it won't block up, because if this gets blocked here, the water just flows down the back there. So I'm dead chuffed with this, uh, with the way it's working, the way it's been caught anyway. Whether it's doing anything or not, I don't know. Let's have a quick look at the pond, see how it looks on the pond. Right, pond. To be honest, I was trying to call some fish to the window, so you can have a bit more of a reference, because at the moment, yeah, there is, it is still quite murky. It's not as white as, white as it was yesterday. But it is quite murky still. I can only maybe see maybe just over a third of the ponds in into it. When it's clear, obviously I can see one end to the other. But at the moment I can't even see the bottom drain. So just maybe it's just over 24 hours, which is good. Can't really uh, see. Oh, here we go. Here, here comes OJ. So it kind of an idea of how much you saw OJ before it came into interview. So yeah, I've got to give it time. It says. 24 to 36 hours to clear so that's what I'll give it so let's have a it's got one more thing to show you on the filters right you might like this one I tried something last night uh, after I'd done the initial bit just to see how this filter floss would work catching what it's catching there now this is an interesting one anybody with these filter bays you might want to try this because it's kind of worked for me as far as I can see is if I can just show you down here where you got these brushes here what I found was there was quite a lot of the powdery stuff from the Coin Master's Advantage that had come through here and then obviously caught itself in here. So these were all, they looked dusty, which is expected, which is good. I'm catching stuff in a filter, that's what it's here for. So my thought last night was, right, I'm going to have to do a bit of cleaning on these today. Dropping some water, wasting a lot of water, getting these out, giving them a swish through, get that done. Not really. 
because, follow me on this one, because I've got KK1000 at the end there and water flowing through and down through here, all I did was this, okay? Just swish the first one, middle, and just give these a swish. And if I can, I could even do this one actually. In fact, I might be able to do it today and show you. And just do this middle brush. Because this would be interesting. See how all this stuff's coming off the brush? I don't think you see it, but there's a load of stuff coming off the brush. And it's going into the next one, into the next bay. So I leave that there now. Now, what's happening is, if I don't think you see this, but what's happening is a lot of the debris that's caught on the brush now is going into here. If I just give these a bit of a shake, to allow it to go down into the bottom of that bay, it's going to pop up through the KK1000 and then through this bay, through the holes and land here. So I have now not has to, had to waste a whole load of vortex, a whole load of brush bay. KK1000 is still bubbling away. That's now all the stuff I've just released from there is now come through to here. It's bubbling up through here, coming through the little holes and landing on this filter floss. So the filter floss is now catching everything from there and all I've done is move the rubbish from there through there into there. Now comment below if you think that's a bad idea. For me I've just saved two bays of water by just jiggling them around so I, I don't have to clean those two bays. Obviously this is only a temporary thing. It's only like a quick a quick fix. When I start feeding properly and a lot of the materials coming through, then I'm going to have to do something about it because otherwise I'm going to be filling up the KK1000 and causing problems. But yeah, just as a quick fix, if you come in one day and you think, I've just done, maybe you've got, you use this stuff, this coin master's advantage, or you use clay or whatever you use, and it gives you that fine stuff that you, oh, I don't want to waste all that water chucking a bay away, just give, just give that a jiggle, get some filter floss in here, and it catches it all. So all I've got to do is now rip the filter floss, filter floss out, swish it around in water like you saw me do, and it's clean again. Don't knock it till you tried it. And today was a school day. <laughs> Fantastic. So there you go. Learned quite a bit today. Uh, so far, so good with the Coin Master's Advantage. I haven't seen any major results yet, but it seems to have picked up a lot of the rubbish that is going back into here. And I'm watching the filter floss fill up again now, which is great. Uh, and it won't choke and overflow because I've let it go over the top. So it's all good. Okay, so here we go, day three. Look at this. Look at the weather, man. That big yellow thing up in the sky. What's it? Sun. <laughs> right, day three of adding Coin Master's Advantage. So, yeah, I think it's doing what it should be doing. The filters of the filter floss is doing a cracking job over the top of my jack matting. It's um, picking up loads of debris, which will save me a, a fortune of time at the moment with cleaning, obviously, when I start feeding, which is going to be soon. And look at the temps. Temperature's 9 degrees. Depending on the temperature, but it's got to be constant, apparently. Apparently, you've got to get a constant temperature to start feeding again, so you, you, it doesn't, it's still doing this a little bit. Like, it was up to 8 point something, then it dropped down to 7, then it went up to sort of 9, and then it dropped down, then it's back to 9 again, so it's a bit, it's, it's only like this. It's nothing, it's just... But anyway, um, I want to just conclude this video, because looking at the pond, I can now see the bottom drain, so it's easy enough. Well over 36 hours on. I think we're talking, I think this is 40 something hours now. I did the first one just after work, sort of late, late afternoon, and then 24 hours later, so when I finished work the following day, now it's Saturday. So yeah, I, you can't knock it until you tried it. And, I, and that's what I do. So I'm gonna continue to try this stuff. I've got a big bucket of it now, so what, <laughs> what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna continue to use this stuff, as long as I've got the bucket of it. And you'll probably see it in future videos, I might reference back to it every now and again. The fuck will be going back in <laughs> uh, real soon. Now the temperatures are coming up, because that's good. I want to get that in early, like I said. I, I want to get that in early, because that helps, apparently, with blanket weed that I've seen lots of people having at the moment. I was watching another channel the other day, Darby Coy, I and, and he uses the equivalent, or the different stuff, or whatever you want to call it, the Mediclay the stuff that I did a comparison with, he uses that and he believes also that it helps with blanket weed. It won't rid you, we'll get rid of it, but it might help stop it forming, I think is the words I've used in the past. I'm going to clear out this floss again, 
really looking forward to summer now now the sun's out the, the fish are like getting ready to start feeding and it's all getting exciting and i'm also going to be looking to get a couple of fish this year as well so i want you to be part of this little journey of mine finding themselves some fish i'm either going for, for two sort of medium size or I might go for one large i don't know um but yeah I, I, as some of you might be aware i lost a couple i lost three actually not last winter winter yeah sorry last winter not the winter just gone winter prior to that and i've never really replaced them and i think it's time to get them replaced and i want you to be part of that journey as well so i'll put so i'll show you the journey of me replacing my fish i'm just turning this way a little bit because it's just hang on anyways sitting there watching me lap up the sun Man, I, could do all day. I might get a deck chair out actually this afternoon I think my wife wants to go for a walk, but diversion again. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Click, ding, ping, whatever. People's Coin Pod Lifestyle.